Today we're going to read stories from Thomas and the Treasure and other stories. This, that's the name, uh, the title of this book. Thomas and the Treasure. Brandon Docks is a very busy place. Engines bring freight cars, cranes unload cargo, and ships bring visitors. One day Thomas had to collect a very important visitor, the Admiral. Thomas was to take the Admiral to open the new Maritime Museum. It was a museum all about the sea. Saldi was excited. The Admiral is always looking for the lost pirate's treasure of Sodar, he said. Pirates, scuffed James. Treasure, huffed Emily. Yes, said Saldi, but no one has ever found it. Saldi told them there were three clues. First, find the eagle of the mountains. Its beak will print or point to the clouds not in the sky. Then those clouds will lead to the skull and crossbones. And there you'll find the treasure, me, Hardy's. Eagle, clouds, skull, and crossbones, tooted Thomas excitedly. I'm sure I could solve th those clues. Emily and James thought it was all nonsense, and that made Thomas cross. He thought it was very important. Just then the Admiral arrived. Thomas puffed off to collect him. The Admiral had to be at the museum in time for the grand opening. Thomas felt very proud to be taking him. There's the Admiral right up here. See, he looks very important. What if I arrive with the Admiral and a chest of pirate treasure? Thought Thomas, that would show to James and Emily. So Thomas chuffed into the track away from the museum and set off into the mountains to look for the first clue. You think he was supposed to do that? We'll see once if, it, if he was supposed to do that. Go looking for that treasure. Then he saw something wonderful, a mountain that looked like an eagle. So here he thought the mountain looked like an eagle. Thomas was very excited. I found the first clue, he hooted happily. Now I'll find the next one. The eagle's head would point the way. How could an eagle point the way, wondered Thomas. How could clouds not be in the sky? And Thomas knew he had never seen a skull and crossbones anywhere. Later, Emily puffed toward Thomas. There is so no such thing as treasure, she laughed, but Thomas paid no attention. The eagle of the mountains had to be somewhere. So here he is still looking for that treasure. Suddenly saw, Thomas saw a track leading in the direction of the stone beak. What are you go where are you going, Thomas? wished James. To find the clouds that are not in the sky, whistled Thomas. How silly, snorted James, and he huffed, chuffed away. But Thomas didn't mind. He knew the clouds were here somewhere. And then he saw them, the clouds not in the sky, were reflections of clouds in the lake. See the clouds in the lake down here? That was exciting for him. I found the second clue, wish, swished Thomas excitedly. One more and I'll find the treasure. Thomas looked for a long time and he forgot all about the Admiral. Then Harold arrived with Sir Toham Hyatt. The Admiral is late for the opening of the museum, he blossomed crossly. You have, to been, you have been unreliable, added Sir Toham Hyatt. Harold will now take the Admiral to the museum. So now he doesn't even get to take the Admiral or get the Admiral because he was foolish. Thomas felt very foolish. If only he hadn't spent so much time looking for the clues. 
Fancy believing in a silly old story, laughed Harold. Everyone thinks I'm silly, huffed Thomas, but I still believe there's treasure. Thomas puffed sadly along the tracks away from the lake. Thomas had never been this way before, so he didn't know where it would lead. It led him into a tunnel. At last, Thomas came to the end of the line. He was surprised. There were all the other engines, and there was the Admiral. I'm very proud to declare the new Maritime, Maritime Museum open, he announced. Everyone cheered and whistled. Then Thomas saw something even more exciting. That's it! That's it! Thomas tooted. The pirate's treasure's right here. Don't be silly, huffed Emily. Everyone knows it's just a silly old story, snorted James, but Thomas knew he was right. I followed all the clues, he puffed proudly, and you have found the skull and crossbones, cried the ad admiral. Thomas boomed, Sir Toham Hyatt, you have made this the best opening ever. Thomas was very proud. He had been right to believe in Salty's story. He had found the treasure. Everyone was surprised. Someone get me a shovel, the Admiral was so excited. He dug for the pirate's treasure himself. He found a big wooden chest. Inside was the pirate's treasure. The tre pirate's treasure was to be the most important thing in the whole museum, said the said Admiral. to be the most important and it was it was they were able to put that treasure into the museum thank you for listening today have a wonderful day and god bless